This is exercise 35.4.2a, smoothing and creasing a mesh. I have begun a new drawing. I have created a mesh box and set my ISO lines on so that you can see them. Turn the grid off. Okay, this is an exercise where we're going to look at the effects of smoothing a mesh. We can smooth the mesh with the command mesh smooth more or the hotkeys more. I prefer the easy way where I select what I want to smooth and then I set a smoothness level. Smoothness level 1, level 2. You'll notice that it gets progressively smoother as the smoothness level increases. Now let's set our sub-object selection filtering to edge and select the edges that go around the top. like so. Now that we've selected the edges that form the top, we'll enter the crease command. Okay, the crease command is actually mesh crease. Crease is the shortcut. We will tell AutoCAD that we want to crease the edges that we selected up to level 3. Okay, and you notice that AutoCAD has taken the smoothness out of the selected edges. We'll reset our sub-object selection filtering to off. Reselect the object and let's set the smoothness level to level 4. And you'll notice that even the edges that I selected to crease have begun to show a little bit of smoothness. We told AutoCAD that we wanted to crease these objects only up to level 3. Since we're on level 4, it's starting to show a little bit of creasing now. We'll set it back to level 2, like so. Now, let's try... Let's extrude part of our... Let's extrude one of our faces. We use the Mesh Extrude command. We'll select one of the faces on top, bring it up a little bit. Okay, what this shows you is that when something has been smoothed and you go to work on it, there's not really any telling what you're going to have when you when you finished. If you're going to work on a particular face, it's a good idea to remove the smoothing first. We can select our edges up here. Oh excuse me, we'll reset the edge filtering. Now we can reselect our edges and crease them. This time we'll tell AutoCAD to always crease. That gives you kind of an odd looking feature. We'll undo all the way back to our box. Alright, now I'm going to set my smoothness level for my box First, let me turn my sub-object filtering off. I'm going to set my smoothness level to 1, just so that I've got a little bit of smoothness on it. Because what I want to do now is I want to try to refine the mesh. When I refine the mesh, if it has no smoothness, it won't refine. I'll select the object, and you'll see that we have increased the number of tessellations that define the object. Now, at the end of Lesson 32, there were several pages of system variables that would enable you to change the tessellations or the divisions of a mesh before you create it. All right. Let's undo this. Let's try our refine command again, but this time I'm going to hold down the control key and select just one of the faces. And you'll see that I can refine just a part of the mesh. Okay, you can continue. If I were to set my mesh up to set my smoothness level, we'll say up to level 4, and do what I just did, you'll see that the higher the smoothness level, the more tessellations you'll, re you'll achieve. 
best bet is to do the best you can to define the number of tessellations when you create the object. If not, go ahead and smooth the object and select the area that you need more tessellations to work with. You don't need to save this drawing.